is Assassin. You're watching. Oh, I'm no, I'm not. <laughs> so hey, I forgot again. <laughs> this is Assassin. You're watching. All right, this is Heavy Metal Beer Review. This is Assassin, and we are coming to you from the nest in Glendale, Arizona. Yeah, watch. <laughs> in Glendale, Arizona off the 101 in Camelback. So anyway, the first beer I'm going to try for you today is not your father's root beer. Now, one of the things I love about this beer is this is a brewed product. This is not like they took root beer and poured vodka in it. No, this is actually a brewed beer. So we're going to give this a try. Wow, this thing has such a good taste to it. I mean, this tastes like root beer. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. Now, the funny part is, the original root beer comes from colonial times. When the colonists came over for the first time, they had their beer recipes because they lived off beer back then. And the Native Americans, oh, fuck it, I'll say Indians. The Indians at the time, they actually showed them the recipe or adding roots to the beer, and that's where they came up with the whole idea of root beer. Now, at the time, it was an alcoholic product, like this is, but it kind of became a kid's drink, but this is no kid's drink. This is not your father's root beer, and it is really good, it's sweet, it's tasty. You will like this. Now, one of the things I do like about the nest, this is on tap. And from talking to the owner, he plans on keeping it on tap. They've got a good sales with this. So if you want to find Not Your Father's Root Beer on tap, you've got to come down to the nest. They're the only place in town I know that has Not Your Father's Root Beer on tap. you got to try it. Ha -ha! <laughs> All right, and you're still watching. Great. Hey, I got another beer for you. Okay, now this next one I'm going to try is the Coronado Orange Whip Beer, Coronado Brewing Company. So let's go ahead and give this a try. I like this beer. Now I can taste the orange in it, but it doesn't overpower. It's kind of a very light textured orange flavor to it. And it is a definitely a wit style beer. So the Coronado Orange Wit, I'd say, yeah, you definitely gotta try this. It's a good beer. They got on tap here. And so you gotta try out the nest, you gotta try out this beer. You know what? Try it! Yeah! Ah! All right, and I'm ready for my next beer. <laughs> anyway, next one I'm going to try is the Leinen Kugel Harvest Patch Shandy. Now, this is a pumpkin brewed beer. Now, with pumpkin beers, I love the flavor of pumpkin, but sometimes they not enough or way too much. And to be honest, it's really hard to get right. So we're going to give this a try. They got it right. It's got the perfect balance to it. You got, you can taste the pumpkin. The pumpkin is there, you taste it. But it does not completely overpower, but at the same time, it's not underpowered. It's right where it should be. Now, it's a pumpkin pan shanty, so therefore it's got that wit style flavor to it with the pumpkin in it. And it's a lighter style beer, wheat style beer and really, really good. Line and Kugel did a really good job on this one. And as I said, with pumpkin style beers, it's really, really hard to get those right because it's, pumpkin's so easy to screw up. But they guys, they did it right. All right, and I am signing off from the nest in Glendale, Arizona. Keep it metal. Once again, you like what you see, leave a comment. You don't like what you see, leave a comment. I don't have enough people talking to me. I get bored really quickly. So leave comments. I will respond. Keep it middle. Always. Ha -ha. They did a good job with it. So. Get in there. <laughs> I'm forgetting everything I'm supposed to say. God, I'm spacing it today. All right, this is Hessian. And you are fucking everything up. Wait, I got to get my train of thought back now. <laughs>